dear students as we have seen in the last class serial correlation auto correlation is generally expected in the auto regressive models in the coeq model and also in the adaptive expectations model if ut is serially independent vt will be serially correlated in the partial adjustment model only if ut is serially uncorrelated serially independent vt is also serially independent so the question is how to find out whether there is auto correlation in the auto regressive models auto correlation is generally expected in the auto regressive models because of the way in which auto regressive models are generated from distributed lag models as we have discussed so the question is how to detect the presence of auto correlation in the auto regressive models remember this in the coeq model and also in the adaptive expectations model serial correlation is 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 generally expected if ut satisfy all the classical assumptions now as we have discussed earlier one method for detecting auto correlation is the darwin watson d statistic another one is the bruch godfrey test now while discussing darwin watson d statistics we have stated that to apply the darwin watson d statistics the model should not contain lagged values of dependent variable as an explanatory variable stated differently explanatory variable should be strictly exogenous now what will happen if we use darwin watson d to detect auto correlation in the auto regressive models as we have stated earlier if you apply ols d will be almost equal to 2 d will be almost equal to 2 and as we have stated earlier the range of d is from 0 to 4 if the value of d is around 2 it is a sign that there is no auto correlation around 0 means evidence of positive auto correlation around 4 means evidence of negative auto correlation so in the auto regressive models if we apply darwin watson b to detect auto correlation we will erroneously declare that there is no auto correlation in the model even though there is there is auto correlation actually in the data the reason why we are getting d close to 2 is that we violate a condition for applying darwin watson d so darwin watson d cannot be used so darwin has proposed another large sample test to detect first order auto correlation in the auto regressive models darwin has developed a large sample test to detect first order auto regressive first order auto correlation in the auto regressive models remember this darwin watson b is used to detect only first order auto correlation so the darwin watson procedure to detect first order auto correlation in the auto regressive models is known as darwin eh statistic darwin eh statistic 
the test is known as Darwin H statistics and this H is given as H is equal to rho hat into root of n by 1 minus n into variance of alpha hat to h is given as rho hat into root of n by 1 minus n into variance of alpha hat to now in this specification n is the sample size and variance alpha hat 2 is nothing but the variance of the coefficient of y t minus 1 variance of the coefficient of y t minus 1 coefficient of the y t minus 1 and rho hat is the estimate of the coefficient of first order autocorrelation we have discussed earlier. We have discussed earlier in the regression of ut on ut minus 1. You will get rho hat estimate of the coefficient of first order autocorrelation. Now, for large samples, Darwin has shown that under the null hypothesis that H0 rho is equal to 0. Rho is equal to 0 means our model is ut is equal to rho ut minus 1 plus epsilon d first order ARC discussed in detail in an earlier class. Under the null hypothesis that rho is equal to 0, H is distributed asymptotically normal with the 0 and 1. That is, in large samples, H is a standard normal variable. H is distributed asymptotically as a standard normal variable. Now, in practice, we obtain this rho hat as, as we have derived earlier. 1 by 1 minus b because d is equal to 2 into 1 minus rho hat and solving for rho hat you will get a, you will get a rho hat as equal to 1 minus 1 by d 1 minus sorry 1 minus not 1 by d d by 1 minus d by 2 now, let us see an example. Suppose that in an application with uh, n is equal to 47, d is equal to 0.9619, rho hat is equal to 1 minus d by 2 is equal to 0.5190 variance of alpha hat 2 is equal to 0 0.0058 suppose substituting the values you will get h as equal to 0 0.5190 into root of 47 by 1 minus 47 into 0 0.0058 you will get the value of h as 4.0 one zero six one value of h and we know that h is distributed as a standard normal variable and the value of h is 4.1061 and what is the probability that h is equal to 4 point h or z is equal to 4.1061 if rho is equal to 0 the probability is very low so null hypothesis is rejected and we conclude that there is evidence of positive autocorrelation there is evidence of because rho hat is positive there is evidence of positive autocorrelation so this is the procedure 
some softwares will give you the values of h otherwise you have to compute it remember this this is not darwin watson b this is darwin h test now let us see some of the features of h statistics one is it does not mean it does not matter how many explanatory variables and how many lagged values of y are included in the model it does not matter how many explanatory variables and also how many lagged values of y are included in the model our only concern is requirement is variance of the coefficient of yt minus 1 only you can include yt minus 2 yt minus 3 you can include any number of explanatory variables also that is one feature of H statistics a second feature is the test is not applicable if uh, n into variance alpha hat 2 variance alpha hat 2 is greater than 1 this test cannot be applied if n into variance alpha hat 2 is greater than 1 then you will get a 1 minus greater than 1 negative and the root of a negative number does not exist so if uh, n into variance of alpha hat 2 is greater than 1 you cannot apply this test but in most applications this n into variance alpha hat 2 will be generally less than 1 and a third feature is since uh, it is a large sample test its application in small samples is not generally valid it is a large sample test so strictly speaking it should not be applied in small samples also also it has been suggested that one can use bg or a, what is known as the lm test bg test also known as the lm test as it is statistically more, more powerful if uh, the sample size is not uh, very large so in small samples bg or lm test is preferred over h statistics because bg or lm is more powerful <coughs> so so if uh, and, and uh, as a final conclusion suppose that using h or bg or lm and uh, for bg and lm as we have discussed earlier the test statistics is chi square if uh, auto correlation is detected by using darwin h statistics or uh, uh, bg test bg lm test the question is what to do then we have to resort to what is known as new e west hack procedure hack procedure to estimate the parameters remember this we have to solve the problem of correlation between yt minus 1 and the vt on the one hand using proxy then we have to use new e west hack standard rates to solve the problem of auto correlation and this is all about h tests